Hey, hey, NBA 2K My League fans. Coach 2K back with some more NBA 2K realistic My League action with those Cincinnati Lions. We got some great highlights coming up against the Detroit Pistons, who sit six in the Eastern Conference, lost their last game. And we faced these guys twice already this season. We lead the season series two games to none. You see, we won the first matchup 105 to 93. Clay Perry led them with 30, but they were without Grant Ory who, as you'll see in this video, is a monster player, and Jinx, he put up uh, 23 in the win for us in that first matchup. Now, the second matchup of the season, we would come away with the win again, and this time Jinx would put up 43 points, but Zing had 23. Uh, great games from those guys with Bill up 17 and 15. But on their side, Grant Ori was on the floor this time. He put up 43 points against us, but it wasn't enough as we were still able to get the victory and uh, um, close it out. So, and they're looking at their players. Omari Swift here. He's an all-star last year. Third team All-NBA. This guy is a rebounding machine. You can look at some of his stats over the last four games. You see there are two of their last four. They have won. But double-digit rebounds every game for this guy for sure. And Clay Parrish, a veteran, he has some key moments in this game. He's playing hurt. Uh, and you can see it's really bothering him, which I thought was interesting to see that actually in the gameplay. But he's got a bruised left knee, but that didn't stop him from raising his game up here as uh, this is a great game against Detroit. It was a lot of fun. Love playing in Detroit. And Grant Ory, six foot one point guard from Florida. This guy is a handful. He can score and he's relentless. And you'll see that in these highlights coming up. Now, Don L. Jenks here, our superstar, leading the league in scoring. Uh, I think he's got a five-point uh, per-game lead on everybody. And, of course, their guy, Omari Swift here, 17.7 points a game, 14.9 rebounds. I love playing in Detroit, man. Detroit basketball. Crowd was into it. See, our lineup hasn't changed. Team consistency is what we're after here. You see, Grant Ory is going to take Lloyd to the basket, get around him, and get the dunk, and that's one of the first of many buckets he's going to get. But look here. Here's Omari Swift getting inside, working the glass. He gets the dunk off the offensive rebound, and he gets the foul, and he knocks down the free throw to give him an early three-point lead. And for us, Zane comes down on the other end and knocks down a three to tie it. Back and forth, first quarter. Now, this whole game was close the whole way there. You see the alley-oop to Omari Swift here. Nice connection there as uh, they were playing above the rim and Byers comes down on our end knocks down the three and here's Grant Ory again going to get to the basket going to weasel his way in there around double O and score and he was everywhere now here we get the steal we get off in the fast break here and there is Calvin Hood finishing getting the lay in getting the foul and give us a chance to take a three-point lead here it's free throw line but he would miss now here here look at Ory He's getting in there. He's taking on Calvin Hood, and he jukes him left and right, and he does end up scoring on him. And here's Ori again getting inside. Another easy layup as he gives him the lead again. And this time it's Skinner, and he misses. But look, there's Swift inside again. He gets the offensive rebound, and he puts it back in. And uh, so they would not go away. We just couldn't pull away here as Ori gets inside again off the pass. And puts them up again. Here we're going to go for the alley-oop. But they, they must have been watching game film. They, they spotted that a mile away. And they got the steal. They got it down to Grant Ory for the easy dunk. And the bench for the Pistons is in it. And we come down to the other end. We get another alley-oop. This time to Jinx from Zing. And he did not steal that one. We got that one. Here, here look at Ory again. He's going to take Lloyd off the dribble. Make some contact. And give him a four-point lead here in the second quarter. And we're going to take, we're going to post up Ori on the other end there. And Ori tried, but he, it's hard to guard uh, Jinx the way it is. As Jinx gets inside, gets an easy dunk there. And uh, Jinx would have a monster game here. I'm not going to tell you how many he had until the end of the game. But he uh, lit it up from all over the place. And here you can see one of his three-point plays, or one of his three-pointers as he scores. Ties the game. And uh, nice play here is Ori. Beats the defender, cuts back door, easy dunk inside. I love to see the CPU playing basketball like that. It's like, it just makes it all worth it. And inside they find uh, the guy that wrote on the trading block, Adebago, 
um, that we like to see if we can pick up. He's a seven footer, as Ori got him to pass, and he got the easy dunk inside. I don't know if we can get him from the Pistons, but we would like to pry him away. Here, Ori takes it inside again, and he has another dunk. And we're late in the second quarter. Man, it's been back and forth the whole time. Ori scores again off the back door cut, puts him up by four. And here, end of the first half here, he's going to take it in and shoot at the last second almost. And he scores again at the half, man. We're down 54 to 48. They're out shooting us. They're out playing us. Uh, Jinx and Ori, man, point for point, 26 points each here. So Ori going to try and take somebody off the dribble again. And he gets in there and he gets us off our feet. And he scores at six foot one there, man, getting inside, doing a good job. Now here, this is a great play as we get the double team. And Billups gets the pass from Jenks as he recognizes the double team and catches him out of position. We score inside. And there's Parrish, man. Look at that three. You can see he's hurting, man. He's feeling it. and But it didn't affect his shot any. There's Ori again. He's going to go back door again and beat us again on the same play. And this time, Lloyd fouled him and put him up by seven. They got a chance to go up by eight here. You see Calvin Hood with his hands, his face in his hands there. He can't believe it. Anyway, he knocks it down, gives him an eight-point lead here in the third quarter. And here's Ori again, man. And he's just putting the, <laughs> putting the moves on us. Look at that. He's going to get it inside. He's going to take the jump shot, and he's going to bury it. And now they're up again by, I uh, can't tell him. That looks like 10-point lead there. Here, Jinx gets the double again, drives and kicks out to Lloyd. Lloyd's been doing good from three-point land out there as he knocks down another three as Ori gets past us again, scores again. You can see that uh, the bench is loving it. And there he misses it. But Gaddison inside with the offensive rebound as he gets position and he gets the dunk. He also gets fouled on that and gives Detroit a four-point lead here as, uh, you know, we're trying to get some headway on these guys. And they uh, are playing above their heads, let's say. But, I mean, not Ori, man. Ori, look at that. Another score. As he puts him back up by five. Here he's going to take him in again. He's going to take it high off the glass. And uh, here we're finally back. Uh, we got the steal. Byers is going to take it the distance after getting the steal and get the dunk. And now we're up by three here in the fourth quarter. And we're going to use Jinx off of the uh, pick and roll there. And I love that. I threw it over to the wing to get a better angle at the pass to double O, who was wide open. For the dunk. That's great basketball right there. As Ori gets in, he gets it blocked. Jinx blocked it, but he got it back and he put it in. And the crowd's going crazy, man, here. You can hear the the fans. They're, they're, it's awesome when the fans are into it there. As they get the steal from Jinx and they take it the distance to get another easy basket. As Jinx on our end gets the alley oop from Billups. Pretty play there. And uh, so we're up by four here with the three, and Zang buries it. And now we're up by eight. It looks like we're cruising to another victory here, but uh, they won't go away. As Skinner drops the three on the fast break. And uh, here they're going to get another steal. I think Omari Swift stole that. He's going to get it to Skinner. Skinner gets in there, and he misses it. But Omari Swift with another rebound puts him up 100 to 98. And the crowd is like so into it. And we need a bucket here, and they overplay on Jenks, who gets to the basket and gets a dunk. And he goes to the line, he misses it. So here we almost get the steal, and we're scrambling, and we gave up an easy bucket to Parrish inside. 102 all. They're a tough pass as we get it to Drew, and Drew scores to give us a four point lead. It looks like we may have him again here as Drew with the finish inside. And uh, here, uh, oh, I had to show this because the illegal screen on Omari Swift, the coach is hot, man. It's like, man, this is Detroit. You can't be calling moving screens like that. And uh, anyway, we would turn it over and uh, Ori would get it inside to O'Gallagher who would score in a two-point game. And look at Parrish. Look at this. Fade away three and he buries it and he's hurting. He gives him the lead, 107 to 106 crowd is going crazy 34 seconds left and I'm like man I guess I got a foul I'm looking at the clock here so I I fouled I had a foul to give though so there's 10.8 seconds left we're going to have to foul and put them on the line and so they're going to throw it in and we're going to foul immediately here which we do and Clay Parrish is going to go to the line 
and now his eye is hurting because we must have poked him in the eye. And so with under 10 seconds to go, uh, Parrish is going to go to the line and try and give them a three-point lead. And the first one, he sinks it. And the second one, he's going to knock that down too. And now it's 109 to 106. We decided to substitute Calvin Hood, put Byers in his place, and have three guys that can shoot the three here because we need a three to tie it. And so we're going to get it into Byers here. I thought Byers would be the guy who would take the shot here, but he's well covered here. He's going to drive to the basket here, and uh, he's going to kick it back out to Jinx. Jinx takes the three, and he nails it, and he ties it 109 all. 0.6 seconds to go. Jenks, man, with a clutch shot there, and they wouldn't get a shot off to end the regulation. Here, look at this. In overtime, with the shot clock expiring, Drew had to throw it up, and he gets it. And another easy cut to the basket as they're overplaying Jenks. Gives us a four-point lead in overtime, and uh, they find Ori again. How many times are we going to get beat on that play? As he keeps cutting back to Orr, and they're within two. And here, look at Ori again. He's going to take it inside. He's going to take the contact. He's going to score again. And they're within three. And there's a two-pointer by Parrish. Cuts it to one. Parrish has been doing great uh, the whole game. And here, uh, we got it to Billups. And look at Billups after they double-team Jinx with the acrobatic finish. He's got a chance to put us up by four, and he does. And there, we play some great defense. We get the rebound. We get it out, and look at Drew, all by himself, gets the dunk at the end of that steal, and that pretty much seals it. That was the dagger right there, and we would go on to beat the Pistons 126-117 in overtime. Yeah, great game, man. I just had so much fun playing this game. I couldn't wait to do the highlights and show you guys. Um, we attacked the basket. We got the line a lot in this game, and so did they. Ori, look at that. He had 48 points, 20 of 38 from the line, from the field. Look at that. Uh, Parrish had 20, and Swift had 11 and 16. But for us, Jenks, he had 61, 61 points, season high uh, by anybody in the league. Prior to that, um, Byron Danley had 57. Monster game by Jenks, 61 points, and the overtime victory. What a great game in Detroit. Uh, they gave us everything. You can see here, 61 points, season high. And Donnell Jenks also hit a record, franchise record, 17 free throws. That's the great thing about playing an expansion team is you get all the records. You can set them all, which is a fun aspect of it. You can see here, he had uh, 61 points. His career high is 76 points. And that was a monster game. That's not my all-time high. <laughs> we have... Zing has that. Anyway, scores around the league. The Sixers will beat the Blazers. You can see our score there. We had 33 wins on the season, 20 games above 500. The Raptors would beat the Suns, and the Timberwolves would beat the Pelicans to get 32 wins on the season here. They were led by um, this guy named Dunn with 28 points. Terrence Dunn, he is six foot one point guard from Canada. Of course, Donnell. Woolridge and I came Kingsley had great games too. The Nets beat the Hornets to get to 28 and 19 on the season. Sean Rooks, 24 points, 24 rebounds, a couple blocks. Great game of him. Cavs continue to stink up the <laughs> season as they lose again to the Rockets and the Bucks. They ended up beating the Mavericks as uh, we get our 33rd win of the season. And uh, it's a great season here as we're Getting close to the trade deadline. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What you think of the series. Hit that like button. That way we can share it to others on YouTube. I am Coach2K. I'll see you guys on the court in the next video. Thanks for watching.